today we are discussing Gatterman reaction the reaction is also called Gatterman aldehyde synthesis it is performed on aromatic substrate using a mixture of dry HCN and HCL HCL should also be dry in the catalyst used in the reaction is anhydrous aluminum chloride so you can understand that why reaction is performed under anhydrous condition because under under aqueous condition aluminum chloride may not act as a catalyst aluminum will be coordinated with water molecule so it won't interact with the uh, reactants so no reaction may take place in aqueous situations in the second step the intermediate is hydrolyzed by acidic water to produce a compound which contain a CHO or a formyl group it is also a aldehyde aldehydic product. The, the aluminum chloride is used to produce a electrophile an aromatic substrate act as a nucleophile HCN, HCN has a nitrogen which contain lone pair these lone pairs at takes a proton from HCl molecule as shown here with the arrow. So, electro so these electrons are taking the proton generating protonated form of HCN which is in this type of HCN the carbon is electron deficient because nitrogen positively charged nitrogen takes electron from carbon. The reaction is this step is also reversible because C L minus can take back its proton producing reactant again. C L minus can attack electrophilic carbon which is electrophilic in nature to produce a addition compound. When C L minus attacks carbon the electrons of triple bond shifts to nitrogen make converting it into a neutral molecule. So, this is how HCl adds to HCN So, now you can see that there is a double bond between carbon and nitrogen because HCl added to the triple bond there are lone pairs these lone pairs can interact with aluminum because aluminum has d orbital and it can accept electrons from nitrogen so such a interaction places small amount of positive charge on nitrogen and that in turn put, put, put a small amount of positive charge on carbon and now once this interaction takes place carbon becomes electrophilic. Now aromatic substrate come into picture as it attacks the, the positively charged carbon as a nucleophile. aromatic ring usually uses its pi electron to attack the electrophilic carbon and when this attack is taking place the pi electron of CN bond shifts to nitrogen making nitrogen aluminum bond stronger and converting C double bond N into a C single bond N. The aromaticity of benzene ring is lost during this step, so it has to be regained. But one other important thing is you have a good leaving group as HCl. As you can see, there is a negative charge of aluminum which is not stable, so it has to be neutralized. Cl is a good leaving group, so if 
electron from this bond shifts to form a pi bond between nitrogen and, and carbon the Cl minus may may be ejected and this reaction is feasible because aluminum is carrying a negative charge so it can give its electron density so bond between aluminum and nitrogen breaks to form a car double bond between carbon and nitrogen Rele releasing the Cl minus ion to produce another intermediate and as you can see in this intermediate also benzene ring is not aromatic in character so <coughs> if this extra hydrogen is lost then then benzene ring can regain its aromaticity if you can see aluminum is carrying the Cl minus which has come out from previous intermediate this negatively charged aluminum intermediate can take the proton generating the aromatic ring again so benzene becomes aromatic again and now you can see there is a double bond between carbon and nitrogen and nitrogen has lone pairs so now at this stage if you add acid to the reaction mixture the C double bond NH can be hydrolyzed as you, you know the lone pair attracts proton which comes out from acid and once nitrogen is protonated the protonated nitrogen may attract more electron density from carbon and once nitrogen start uh, attracting more electron density from carbon carbon becomes a strong electrophile and now it can be attacked by a weaker nucleophile like water so water in this reaction acts as a nucleophile and carbon acts as a as a electrophile in the previous intermediate when nitrogen was not protonated water was not able to attack the carbon because it was not a strongly electrophilic after protonation the carbon becomes totally electrophilic so after attack of attack o o on carbon by water molecule once one get a intermediate as shown here in the in this step and it has a extra proton on water if water comes out from this intermediate we can get, get back our uh, uh, previous state intermediate but if another water molecule takes a proton we may get the next intermediate which has a OH group and a NH2 group. The nitrogen carries lone pair and it is more basic than OH so preferentially nitrogen may get the proton but in case OH gets the proton we may go back to the previous, previous intermediate. So this step is also reversible. If nitrogen takes the proton we get a protonated um, nit uh, nitrogen which is a good leaving group. So ammonia ammonia is a good leaving group because nitrogen is present in the protonated state so it may be it may go out easily and it can be helped by the lone pairs which are present on oxygen so these lone pairs will go and form a bond double bond between carbon and oxygen and ammonia goes out so NH3 plus is a good leaving group because once it goes out it produces a neutral ammonia molecule. The extra proton which is present on this intermediate may be taken by water molecule which may act as a base to produce our final compound which is aldehyde it contains a formyl group. There is a modification for th of this reaction it is called Adams modification in this modification HCN is replaced by ZN CN2. HCN is highly toxic, so it is better to use a salt of cyanide. A salt of cyanide, right? Zinc cyanide. If zinc cyanide is used with HCl, dry HCl, it produces anhydrous ZN Cl2, which is Lewis acid and HCN molecule. Now ZN Cl2 acts as a catalyst in place of aluminum chloride in this modification the reaction steps are similar 
at zone 4 with aluminum chloride it's just that Zn and Cl2 act as a as a catalyst to produce a electrophile in place of aluminum chloride other thing remains the same so this is if you have any question you may please write as comment thank you